Good evening and welcome to News 24 English Bulletin. This is Sanjana Chaudhary and those were the headlines. Now the details. BNP Secretary General Mirza Fokhrul Islam Alungir warns the government to leave power with honor. He also warns of a mass uprising to oust the Awami League from power. Fokhrul made the warning at a rally in Khulna. Meanwhile, defying the road and water transport strikes and various other obstacles, thousands of leaders and activists of the BNP and its associate bodies have gathered together to make the rally successful. Farooq Hussain has the details. Addressing in Khulna rally, BNP Secretary General Mirja Fokhrul Islam Alamgir said and the government could not stop the rally even after trying all means. Fokhrul claimed that more than 500 BNP men were arrested in the last three days. Fokhrul claimed Awami League men injured thousands of BNP leaders and activists on their way to join the rally. Besides, he went on, they injured several hundreds at Monglaport while they were getting off trawlers to join the rally. There will be no election in the country without the caretaker government. The Awami League will have to leave power and let the election be held under a non-party caretaker government. Earlier, defying the road and water transport strikes and various other obstacles kicked off the party's day-long divisional protest rally in Khulna Saturday morning. A clash broke out between the police and the activists of the BNP in Kulna railway station. The railway station was vandalized during the clash. It has been learned that the clash erupted as the leaders and activists of the BNP coming for the public rally were obstructed from entering the city. Meanwhile, commuters faced a harrowing time on Saturday morning as the 48-hour bus and launch strike in Kulna entered its second day. Farooq Hussain, News 24. Obstructing BNP's rally is not a duty of Awami League, said Awami League General Secretary Ubaid al Qadir. Ruling party leaders will not respond to any instigation of the party. Meanwhile, Presidium member of the party, Jahangir Kabir Kanuk, said BNP and Jamaat evil forces is trying to create instability in the country. Akramul Haq Shimon has the details. The institution of agriculturists arranged a senior agriculturist conference at Khamarbari in the capital on the occasion of International Day of Older Persons. It turned into a gathering of senior agriculturists. The Awami leaders say the old evil power is active again. In a bid to maintain the fair environment, everyone has to play cautious role. If necessary, you have to take new oath. If it is further necessary, we will go for movements. Even after that, we will not let the evil political power remain in Bangladesh. When the world has been left in crisis, when a recession has been created internationally, when they should come forward to help the government, at the time, the BNP and the Jamaat is creating turmoil in the country. At another program in the capital, Home Minister Asuzjaman Khan Kamal said, None has been arrested centering the rally. Those who have been arrested in Khulna were accused in cases, while some others were arrested for their involvement in sabotage. Police made the arrest from regular process. They always arrest those who have warrants. No arrest has been made in purpose of the rally. Metropolitan Police Commissioner knows which sorts of fear are there. He is in responsibility there. He can speak on the issue better. Nothing has been occurred that can create instability, so far I know. Meanwhile, at another program marking National Road Safety Day in the capital Sosmani Memorial Auditorium, Amalik General Secretary Obadjul Kader pledged to face BNP on the streets. The more provocations they create, we will not go for provocations. We are saying everything politically and we want to face them politically. The Awamilik General Secretary said the ruling party is monitoring the situation with patience. Ekram Lokshuman, News 24. 
the production of electricity is hampered due to the fuel crisis. As a result, load shedding has increased. But the Ministry of Power and Energy could not tell when and how the crisis would be solved. State Minister for Power and Energy Nasrul Hamid said that the load shedding could be experienced over the years. Meanwhile, experts said that the government would lose the ability to import fuel due to the dollar crisis. On the other hand, dependence on fuel imports will prolong the problems, opined experts. Bangladesh Textile Mills Association BTMA has demanded to ensure uninterrupted gas supply even if it is needed to purchase at a high price from the spot market in order to save the industry as production has dropped by half due to 12-hour gas shortage. BTMA President Muhammad Ali Kokon said they are even ready to pay a bit more than the current price of gas if the government can ensure uninterrupted supply to the industrial units. The BTMA President President made the demand at a press conference at a hotel in the capital on Saturday. He claims that 60% of factories are at risk of closing due to the gas crisis. He claimed that in the last few months, the industry has had a to count $1 loss. He said if the gas crisis continues, foreign exports will fall. He is concerned that the situation will exacerbate that the dollar crisis. The Bangladesh Shop Owners Association alleged that small entrepreneurs have been harassed in the name of value-added tax fat. The organization demanded a press conference on Saturday to let them open the shops till 9 p.m., considering the small owners. Mohammad Hilal Uddin, the organization's president, stated that the businessmen have been harassed because the EFD machines have not been used to collect fat. They demanded to bring the whole process under automation. Referring to the import voucher, the shop owners demanded that 91% of the VAT had been collected on different steps during import. The small business owners also demanded assistance to cope with the loss due to the corona pandemic. National Road Safety Day is being observed in the country today in a befitting manner. This year's theme of the day is A Mene Shoroke Choli, Nirapode Ghore Firi. Let us follow the law of the road and return home safely. Concerns said that road accidents and loss of life and property happen for various reasons, including competition of drivers, reckless overtaking inefficiencies in driving, overloading, lack of adequate rest of drivers, not obeying traffic laws of pedestrians, and social unawareness. Road safety movement activists have pledged to continue their fight until a safe road is achieved. The National Consumer Rights Protection Department conducted a drive at the wholesale sugar market in the capital to control the price. Several wholesale traders were fined at the capital's Karwan Bazaar. The organization believes that unscrupulous mill owners and wholesale traders are behind the supply crunch and price hike in sugar. Meanwhile, the Consumer Protection Rights Organization will sit with traders tomorrow to solve the crisis. A supply crunch has seen sugar prices increase again in Dhaka and Chattakram. Private mill owners said imports were normal, but they see no way out of this price spiral as there is a lack of sufficient gas supply to refine sugar. According to the Trading Corporation of Bangladesh, sugar prices have risen by 19.5% in the last year. Despite international media reports that freight costs for imports have nearly halved. Clashes erupted in Pakistan between Pakistan, Tariq e Insaf, PTI workers and police following the election commission's decision to disqualify former Prime Minister Imran Khan in the Toshakhana case. According to news reports, violence erupted shortly after police contingents confronted PTI workers following the announcement of the election results. PTI MNA Saleh Muhammad and his security guard were detained at the ECP office according to the protests. During, according to the uh, news reports, the situation became tense after KP police opened fire on Capitol Police stationed outside the ECP office in an attempt to defuse the situation. PTI workers have also demonstrated this by blocking roads and streets. Local media reported that the workers set fire to tires and blocked traffic in Islamabad, Rawalpindi and other Pakistani cities.
The Shakib al Hassan led Bangladesh cricket team reached uh, Hobar from the Brisbane on Saturday for the Super 12 stage of the ongoing T20 World Cup in Australia. Upon arrival, Bangladesh opener Samir Sarkar, who was bumped from the reserves to the main 15 following abysmal performances from Sabir Rahman, took to the social media to seek prayers ahead of this World Cup campaign. Bangladesh will begin their T20 World Cup campaign with a game against Netherlands on October 24th at the Belarive Oval. The Netherlands made to the Super 12s as runners-up from Group A in the first round. All from the newsroom today. Thank you for watching News 24. Please stay with us.